Emerald Dragonfly is a member of the family Cordulidae, which includes the emeralds and the basket tails. Heinz emeralds are found in restricted populations centered around Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio. However, breeding in selected wetlands has not been observed in Ohio since 1961. E.B. Williamson first described this species in 1931. However, it was not well known to most people until the 1990s. This species gained attention in order to redefine and associate it with its proper habitats. It was given protection under the Endangered Species Act in 1995 and is now a federally listed species. The beginning stages of life are some of the most important for the Heinz Emerald Dragonfly. After a female lays eggs, larvae may take as long as two to four years to fully mature. The speed of maturity depends on the available food resources, water levels, and temperature. The larvae, also called nymphs, are found in cool, shallow, slow-moving waters such as spring-fed marshes, fens, springs, small pools, marl deposits, and calcareous marshy streams. Once a larvae is mature, it can crawl up a cattail stem or other marsh plant for support. The skin splits on its back and the adult emerges. Within a few hours, the wings are hard enough for them to fly. In a recent study, it was found that Heinz larvae regularly inhabit crayfish burrows. During the summer, the wetlands dry up, leaving the burrows one of the wetter habitats. The burrow also provides more protection from outside predators such as frogs and birds. Adult crayfish are large predators to the Heinz emerald. Although the risk of predation is present in the burrow, there is a much greater risk of desiccation in an open channel. The study showed that the removal of crayfish from the burrows did not increase the population size. No clear answer has been given as to why the relationship between crayfish and the Heinz emerald works as well as it does. Although the Heinz Emerald are located in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio, the populations differ greatly from state to state. In Illinois, the populations seem to be rare and localized. However, in Wisconsin, especially Door County, the populations are larger and breeding is more extensive. Unfortunately, a lot of these wetlands the dragonflies call home are close to roads. One of the biggest causes of dragonfly population decrease today is roadway fatality. Cars speed through the areas where the dragonflies live and like any bug flying into a windshield, the impact is great enough to kill them. Many places have implemented road signs with a dragonfly on them, symbolizing a dragonfly crossing and signaling the driver to slow down. The reduced speed of vehicles has shown to decrease road fatalities in dragonflies. Researchers, sanctuaries, and nature reserves are helping immensely in the conservation of this species. Places such as the Ridges Sanctuary in Door County, Wisconsin are providing an environment that is open to research so that we can continue to educate ourselves and others on the best ways to conserve this species. Research that has been done in the past has included monitoring the dragonflies through sight and electronic tagging. Surveys for the Heinz Emerald Dragonfly are also regularly conducted in areas deemed as suitable breeding sites. This research provides a guideline for the recovery plan in order to keep the conservation goals relevant to the needs of the species. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has put together a plan for the recovery of the Heinz Emerald Dragonfly. The objective of this plan is to ensure the long-term viability of this species by reversing decline and addressing threats to its survival. The protection of extant populations is the first step in the recovery plan followed by monitoring extant populations, managing habitats, conducting studies, searching for additional populations, a program for reintroduction, introduction, and augmentation, information and education programs, and review and tracking of progress. According to the plan, results could be seen as soon as 2019. However, the plan includes a revision process at five-year intervals if more time is needed.